Queer Kid stuff has had a bit of a dip in good content lately, which might not be all that surprising, but I'm sure we can all agree it is disappointing. In the meantime, here's Queer Kid stuff with a slightly bigger budget in the form of Pop and Ollie, yet another show for kids who didn't even realise they had the issues it tells them they have. Bit of a solemn one now, but in the light of recent events, this is for anyone who's been threatened and or doxxed by those who supposedly believe in tolerance. Chardelet, brothers and sisters, Chardelet. Hey guys, welcome to Pop and Ollie. <laughs> and I'm Ollie. Seriously? This is what I'm working with? Alright, fine. I just didn't expect someone who puts on a voice like Barney the fucking dinosaur. And I've not even started on the fucking balloon yet. That's coming. And today, we're going to be talking about gender pronouns. Excellent! One of my favourite subjects, actually. Especially when it comes to projecting adult issues onto children. I'm all about that, I am. You may have noticed I'm wearing this really cool t-shirt from my friend Lindsay over at Queer Kid Stuff. Oh my- right, I'm just gonna stop you there, Ollie, just while I take a breather for a second, okay? A very angry breather. Okay. Right, okay, I'm good now. Please continue about how you're wearing a shirt, which presumably stands for hepatitis, gifted to you from a physical asshole who might actually be worse than 4chan. It says he, because my preferred gender pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm just putting this out there, Ollie, but if you need a shirt to express that, you might be on the wrong track to being accepted by society, mate. Just saying, we have Blair White, who is the personification of integration when it comes to trans, and then we have Riley Dennis, who just makes a fucking meal out of everything. And if I were a kid, I know which one I'd be more likely to listen to, and which one would scare the living fuck out of me. And I'm wearing these cat ears because... Well, I'd just like to wear cat ears. It's because you are a massive pussy! I don't mind taking the low road there. Let's be honest, this fucker was setting someone up for it, wasn't he? I might as well be the one to take the bait. Would you like to wear pop? Yes, Mrs. Cool. Just so you know, pop there, the fucking talking balloon, just said false moustache, which is obviously a play on Poirot, the French detective, and therefore racist. Cultural appropriation. You've been rumbled, me old China. Count yourself lucky no one's threatening to call the police on your ass. And what are your preferred gender pronouns? He, him, and him. Fuck off, mate. That's a balloon. You're telling me it's a boy because it's blue? Because that is a social construct, Ollie, and I thought you would know better than that. Also, it's a balloon. I mean, it's, it's got the it's got the hole, hasn't it? It's not even one of those long balloons. Blatantly female. Oh, are you gonna tell me the balloon is transgender? We say preferred gender pronouns because this is how we would like people to refer to us. That's good. I like the use of the word preferred, as in do me a favour, which works well with your friends, but when it comes to the general public, I mean, have you ever asked a stranger for spare change? They love it. They're lining up down the road to hand over their coinage. And why wouldn't the public help you? You only encourage your audience to harass, threaten and bully other content creators. So trustworthy, Ollie, I'd let you look after my kids any day. Ollie likes to wear his cat ears because he thinks they make him look cool. Well then, Ollie is a fucking idiot who was obviously bullied or quite simply wasn't bullied enough. You know, the kind of lad that would throw stones at people and then run away and hide inside his house, shouting out through the letterbox. And they all speak like Joe Pasquale too. Pop sometimes wonders how he ended up with a friend like Ollie. <laughs> Oi. And your audience wonder how you can co-present a show with an animated balloon and yet somehow still get upstaged by it. Your preferred gender pronouns, or PGP, might be he, him and his. Sorry, are we saying PGP now? How do I keep missing this bollocks? Is there a fucking newsletter I should be subscribed to or what? Who decides these things? Is there a panel? Weekly meetings? An annual picnic? Is there a raffle, Ollie? Do they endorse you or do they hold the extremely popular opinion that you are causing more harm in children than good? Or she, her and hers. Or maybe they, them and theirs. Oh yeah, of course, all the usual shit some people use when they realise they aren't as special as their parents told them they were. Because as we all know, it's better to drastically change your body at a young age rather than wait until your mind is fully developed. Fucking astounding. Or maybe you just want people to call you by your name. Or something else. 
Yeah, and I want a pony, Ollie. But I live in a flat without a fucking garden, so it looks like neither of us are getting what we want. Unless you can get roof horses, which is frankly as laughable as thinking kids are transgender. It's also really important to respect other people's preferred gender pronouns and address them correctly. Says the guy in fucking cat ears. How you can talk about respect when you look like a shit version of Blue's Clues or something Hugh Hefner would actually turn down, I don't fucking know. If you do get it wrong, just correct yourself and move on. <laughs> Sorry, did a fucking balloon just give me life advice? Try that again, you little latex fuck, and I have the wrong end of a Lambert and Butler just waiting for you. I think telling children how to deal with the extreme fucking liberals around them might be a better lesson. You know, while you're teaching kids how to question something they never felt the need to question until you came along. If someone gets your PGP wrong, try to be patient with them. Just gently remind them what your pronouns are. Or do what you did, Ollie, and encourage your audience to go after them, right? Very fucking child-friendly, that. Could probably dent a potential television contract, maybe, if someone were to have taken screenshots of someone encouraging threats online. But no, 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 I, I mean, I'm sure that's all hypothetical. I mean, your actions were appropriate, weren't they, based on your target audience? Cool, and that's all we had to say today. Remember, if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. I don't think any amount of thumbs up are going to take you out of the category of indoctrinating children, but, you know, I'm not a mathematician. I'm just saying, if I wanted to confuse children at an age where the only real concern is the colour of their lunchbox, the Pop and Ollie channel would be the way that I would do it. I really wish I could have said more about the child indoctrinating that you're doing here, Ollie, but I know you'll block me and you'll get your audience to harass me and send me crap, and you'll send messages messages to JK fucking rolling, so I won't do that. It's like with Michael Jackson. No one said he was a paedophile. They just said if a man wanted to molest a child, putting a merry-go-round in his back garden would be an effective way to do it. So I'm not saying you're indoctrinating children, Ollie, even though you are indoctrinating children, that is, into something that isn't really in the realm of comprehension until adolescence. Oh shit, I guess I am saying it then. What you have to remember, Ollie, is what it was like when you were a kid and you were told what to think. What did you do? Because I used to go ahead and think the opposite of what I was told to think, mainly on fucking principle. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, you're not truly transgender until someone else says you are.